day for the night. You could be, you could be, you could be. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now, as you can see, we have the makings of a new tutorial. So I'll be listing everything that you will need in the description box down below. So today we're going to be making my graduation dress, or you can use this dress for any like special occasion or what have you. So first off, we're going to start by taking our measurements for reference. So this is just so that you can refer back to any time to make sure you're on track. Now, taking a dress that is the same material as your fabric, we will be cutting out pattern pieces for the fabric. The fabric that I'm using is a rib stretch material, so I use the same type of dress to make my pattern pieces. So I'm taking the top half six inches down, so it's just underneath my bust, and cutting it into four pieces to make it look like a corset. You can cut the front piece where a dart should be. If you guys don't know, just look it up or I'll leave a link to how to make darts. And the back piece I just cut straight down the center. So the skirt I traced from 6 inches down and added a few inches to make 22 inches in total for the underskirt. Then trace your pattern pieces onto fabric. I added an extra inch around the size of the top pieces of the fabric. I'll explain a little bit later why. And also you want to cut one long strip of fabric two inches wide. So I decided to dye my fabric purple for about 15 minutes to darken up the color and these is the example of the testers I used before to determine 15 minutes. Okay, so now to sew it all together for the top piece, I folded the one inch seam allowance in half, ironed and sewed it down on each individual piece. Now after we're going to take all of those sewn pieces and to actually attach them together, we're going to overlap the one inch, well half inch now seam allowance together and stitch in the ditch as I had demonstrated here. Stitching in the ditch just means that you stitch along the stitch lines that you have already stitched previously. And I did that to both sides so that it is all sewn down together. So now for the two front pieces, since all of our panels were separate, we're going to stitch wrong sides together so the excess fabric is at the front of the top. And we're going to iron that flat once it's stitched together and sew down the two excess pieces. So we're going to stitch the skirt piece together, nothing fancy here, just going to stitch it up. And then we're going to attach the skirt to the top. After that's done, don't forget to cut off any excess fabric. We don't want any bulking when we flip this um, right side out, I guess. We're going to hem down our raw edges at the bottom of the skirt. Now take the long strip and cut it in half and sandwich the top it to the top of the dress with the two strips on either side right sides together. 
I kind of lost the clip of me doing this, so. Okay, so now that we're done, we're going to work on the overskirt. I'm going to cut two squares with the width of a square, at least the length of my hips, or basically where your bum is, the largest part of your bum. You're going to cut it that wide at the very least. So the front part was from side to side and the back piece was about two to three inches more so that it could overlap in the front. And the length was about three inches longer than what the skirt actually was so that it goes down to your knees. We're going to hem down the raw edges of that. And to attach it to the skirt, we're going to first attach it to an elastic the size of our waist or right underneath our bust so that it could stretch out to the waist and then shrink back down and fit properly. And then we're going to attach it to the dress and stitch in the ditch once again. So the straps now are made out of ribbon. So I cut the strap lengths um, to a length that I liked. You could do it whatever you like, but I cut it so that there's some still overlapping. And I had painted on my name onto the straps. Now the fabric ink that I used for this is from Michaels. It takes 24 hours before you can heat set it, and then 72 hours before you can actually wash it. So I did that for both the strap ribbons and for the waist ribbon as well. And to attach the straps, I just folded up the long strip that we had around the top half of the dress, sandwiched it together in between, sewed it up. Now for the ribbon, you're going to want to heat set the edges so that they don't fray. I forgot to do that at first, but was able to fix it. And then we're going to take the ribbon that's for the waist and just hem the front part down so that it doesn't move around and we don't lose the ribbon or anything like that. All right, lastly, we are going to add the metallic leaf paper to the dress. So I got my metallic leaf paper off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box, but where you can find yours. And we're going to need some sort of adhesive to attach it to the fabric. I used metallic paint, the same as the leaf paper that I was using, but you can use anything. You can use glue, you could use an iron on, sticky adhesive, whatever you want. Just paint was easier for me. So I painted it on and patted the leaf paper down and then it took about two to three hours to dry and we're all done. I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always had my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate you couldn't see everything and stay That that I wasn't afraid to say, yeah If I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I 
I like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah. I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours. So that is it for this graduation dress sewing tutorial. If you guys do remake this, please, 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 please tag me. I would love to see your recreations or any version of this. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Please hit the notification bell so you know the next time that I do upload. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts negative or positive and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys i'm that bitch and i have it you forgot but i have it now you wish that you had it but all i gotta say back is if i gotta choose me i won't be afraid to if i gotta choose me i gotta do what i gotta do